I'm John Nelson. I'm coming to you from a woodshed in my backyard in Michigan. Esri Customer Service, Roxanne speaking. How may I help you? So I'm originally from Kenya, and I'm very proud of that. I was born and raised in Dubai. I'm from a small town. Um, probably no one ever heard of uh, King Street, South Carolina. I'm born in the center of Germany. I grew up in eastern Montana, sort of the middle of nowhere. I'm Nana, and I'm from Ghana. I've been to six of the seven continents. I haven't made it to Antarctica. My wife, Sarah, also works at Esri, so we met here. Uh, we're another Esri couple. I go back to my earliest childhood. My father had rows and rows and rows of National Geographic magazine. I think it was sort of baked in, this love of geography. When I um, went and saw this movie, War Games, this is a movie back in the day. There were just incredible maps on computers, and I was fascinated. I went and grabbed this Apple tooth, and the next thing you know, I'd written a program to draw this map of the world, and I was hooked. After my first year's class in my undergrad days, I noticed that there were lots of problems around that could be solved by GIS. I was intending to go to university and study law, but I read about this technology and it wasn't on the curriculum at the time, it was a footnote and it just blew my mind. And I sat there and I pushed a button to make a dot density map. And all of a sudden these dots started sprinkling in and data started revealing itself. And I'm looking at this thing, it's like this model of the world coming to life right before my eyes. And I thought, this is magical. I changed my degree, <laughs> didn't tell my parents until we were on holiday. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's the best thing I ever did. I think GIS resonates with people because it is the, the marriage of science and technology with art. It's very concrete and tangible. Uh, people get to uh, really understand things when they see it depicted in the context of the world in which they themselves live in. Getting a glimpse or a lens into uh, what's going on in our society that maybe we can't see in any other way. How do you visualize something as ephemeral as millions of little species migrating over the surface of the entire Earth. How do you keep track of all that? How do you represent that? And it becomes with that not only a way of communicating something complex into something simple. It's so easy to feel so small in such a big world. And so when you can contribute to something like GIS and the GIS community, it makes you feel a little less insignificant, it makes you feel like you're part of something bigger. GIS means preserving the world as we have it. It's thinking about my kids and my grandkids and future generations. And really the ability to integrate the environmental factors with the social factors. And now you get to actually look and go, oh, it's more than just about income. It's about social justice. It's about equity. It's also about environmental justice. It's helping solve questions that people didn't think to ask before. In what other industry do you have where something is rooted so intrinsically in something bound up within us, the concept of where. The payoff is that you are impacting people's lives. And I can't think of anything more important. That's, to me, why we're all here, is to learn and grow and impact people's lives in a positive way. So if we all can get to commit to working and solving a problem, we can all put our heads together to find a solution. And that's my, yeah, that's my heartfelt one. <laughs>